guys, it's Carrie again with another video with the clothing rack in it. And of course, I'm wearing my same outfit. It's been being filmed one right after the other. And I also thought, why not do an outfit of the day? And I'll do that in another video um, because this one's probably gonna be a little bit long. What this is going, this particular video is going to be about is bringing color into your wardrobe. So what I've done, I've got lots of black and white pieces. So I just pulled all my black and white items out. I, I know people, I'm not going to mention any names in case she watches this video, but pretty much all of her clothing is black. She doesn't bring a lot of color into her outfit. And we're all the time saying, you need to wear some color. And um, so I don't know how many of you that this is kind of what your wardrobe looks like, just black and white black and white mix. Now I love all these. Don't get me wrong, but if you watch the other video that I with this same outfit and with a clothing rack, you're going to see that I like color. So I'm going to give you a few tips of what you can do if you're scared of color, but yet you want to bring some pieces in that are colorful. So one skirt, this is my new favorite black skirt, is this one right here. I got it at Express early February. And I wore it with this faux leather BCBG um, top. And if you watch that outfit of the day, you would have seen that I pulled these pink um, heels into it. So this is one way to bring color to an outfit is just in the shoes. So if you're a little bit afraid to just wear color all over, just bring a pair of shoes in that are colorful and a solid color and I think almost any color would look good with a black and white outfit. I just happen to choose these pink ones. So that's one option. Another option would be, let's say you have a lot of white, but yet you don't bring a lot of color in. It's like, I've got this white denim skirt and it shows up in the other video quite often. And you can obviously, I've worn these two together before. But it's black and white. We still don't have any other color options, so I want to show you a couple things that you can do. I brought a, um, if you wanted to, you could bring those uh, pink heels back out. Or, if that's still, if this would be too much for you with the heels and this purse, you can just go with a pair of, right now it's still cold outside, so I wore these with a pair of black riding boots. And I brought this purse into it. So this purse is just a Rebecca Minkoff purse. It's a mini Mac bag. I got it for Christmas. And right now the chain is all messed up, but I need to get that straightened out. But this purse brought color into my wardrobe. So the, this is the, what the outfit looked like minus the boots. So this is just another option of what you can do to bring color into your wardrobe. Just a little bit of a pop of color and you've got a whole new outfit. Some other options are pretty much just in accessories, um, the, the bags, the shoes, stuff like that. Or you can bring scarves into the mix. So I've got a red scarf that would go with any of these black and white pieces. I've got a yellow scarf that again would go with any of these. Now this one is just a kind of a turquoise blue scarf. I don't know that I would put it with a black. I don't think it looks bad. But you may want to wear all white and just throw a scarf like this into the mix. And there you've added your pop of color. Another thing I wanted to show you, if you're getting a little bit braver and you think, okay, I've got a white skirt. Let's pull another white skirt out besides the denim one. It's getting too much air time. And I've got this white skirt. I'm going to show you this is another color. It's a solid color you can bring into it is this gorgeous blue color. Now, it's a little bit low cut, so what I would do is actually wear a white tank top underneath it, so I'll be more covered, and this is what it would look like. I would tuck it in. Let's switch arms here. I would tuck this shirt into this skirt and wear it like that, and then I'm getting braver now. I'm going to bring some heels in that are the same color as the shirt. So these are the shoes that I would bring in with it, and they are just some really blue shoes that match the shirt that are sparkly. I love a sparkle. Yes, I do. And I would wear, I don't know if I can hold, let's see, can we do this? Does that work? <laughs> let's see what else I have. Now, let's say you're getting even more brave, and you want to bring more color in. 
but you've already got some color on, but it's not too bright and in your face type, like look at me, I'm wearing a rainbow, which what I've, I've done that before. Let's say you've got a navy and white striped shirt. This one happens to be by the brand Michael Kors, but I have seen these shirts everywhere. And I want to bring, you know, I'm going to wear it with a white skirt. Just one of these white skirts, just pick one. I'm going to wear it with that. And let me stick it right here for just a moment if I can. And it's a little distorted, sorry about that. But I'm like, let's bring some more color into it. I'm getting braver. And I thought that a neon yellow belt would look really good with this shirt. So here's what it's going to look like. This particular belt, it's really long, but what it does, it wraps around you twice, is what this belt does. And, of course, it's not going to be that tiny, obviously, when if it's being worn, but something like that. And this is going to bring more, just another pop of color into your wardrobe. And I think it looks so cute with that. Just a white skirt with that. Or even if you wanted to wear a navy skirt with it. Just another pop of color for you guys. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you. I'm looking around to see if I brought, oh, I did bring one more thing in. I want to show you another belt that you can do with this top or with a black top. Um, and that's a hot pink belt. And you can, again, just stick it in there like that. Whoops. Let's see. I'm having a lot of trouble with the belts. It works better if you're wearing them, obviously. But, um, as you can see, that's kind of what it would look like. A little bit different if I was wearing it, obviously, or if you were wearing it. Um, it just brings another level of color into it. So, depending on your level of comfort, you may want to start out with just a belt. If you're wearing a lot of black, just pull the belt out. That's a colorful belt. Or get a pair of shoes that are bright. A uh, purse that's bright. I hope this video has given you guys some options of how to bring color into your life, whether it be a pink belt or a neon yellow belt or any color belt you want. You can obviously just pair it with some solid, you know, a solid black and white or all black with this belt would be just a really cute pop of color. And you don't have to be too brave to wear, you know, a be just a belt that's a smaller belt. It's not really just like in your face, like, oh, look at me. It's not like that at all. Or bring uh, just a solid color of flats or heels in. I wanted to show you one other pair of flats because I've got them down here. Um, would, are these really cute? These are orange mouse flats by Marc Jacobs. I love the mouse shoes. Um, I get all my mouse shoes on sale because they are not cheap. So when I buy them, I buy them at the end of the seasons and um, I get them on sale. So this is just another color. You could obviously wear it with this. I think it would look great with that. Or just go back to a black top, white skirt and bring a pair of uh, flats, uh, orange shoes, whatever color you want. Bring the color in with your shoes, your bag, or your belts if you're still a little bit afraid to bring it all out in the clothing. So I hope this video has helped you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye, everyone.